Okay guys, so the Chuck Sipes wrist curl, in my opinion, the best exercise you can do for building up the thickness in the flexor portion of the of the forearms. So I'm just going to demonstrate really quickly how best to do this exercise. As you can see, I'm using a footstool. You don't have to use a footstool. You can use your knee, you can use your bench, it's entirely up to you. The reason I like to use a footstool is because it allows me to have my body lower to the ground. I can actually shorten up my body and create more tension in, in my forearms, which I'm, I'm going to explain to you. So really simple, what we do is you place your forearm on the bench so your wrist is hanging off. Before I even begin to lean my shoulder forward, which is an important part of the exercise, I'm pushing my body weight through the elbow and I'm always working on creating tension. Okay, so I lean forward as much as I can until my shoulder, which I should be able to touch with my thumb, is in line with my wrist. When I'm at this angle, I now lean to the side, okay? Still leaning forward ever so slightly. I lean right off to the side. So now as you can see, my shoulder is in line with the, the stool and my wrist. Okay, from here, I really push down and I can perform the curl. And I can tell you, I can already feel that. The forearm already feels really tight. You also get a nice stretch in the forearm and also that will give you a bit of time under tension while you perform this exercise. Okay, so just a couple of tips. Um, you want to learn to squeeze with your pinky finger and your ring finger. Okay, I like to use a fat grip and you really want to squeeze with those two fingers. That's really going to activate Okay, that flexor side of that forearm, the flexor carpi, that's going to attach from the elbow directly into the wrist. Okay, so um, I like to, like I said before, I like to use a fat grip. It's always important that you have your thumb underneath the bar. That maximizes the exercise even more. Um, and I'll just demonstrate with uh, a dumbbell that I like to use, how to do it correctly. Okay, so as I said before, you place your forearm on the bench okay and I'm leaning right forward putting as much pressure down through that forearm as I can I take my shoulder off to the side okay from this position I can now focus on squeezing with that little finger with the ring finger as I perform those curls okay a really awesome exercise um, on another note, I've been in contact with another YouTube channel by the name of Golden Era Bookworm. If you guys are interested in a lot of the old school guys, he's, he's the guy you want to check out. His content is it's amazing, so go give him a check. Um, but we've been in talks about bringing forward a, a forearm booklet, which is going to really maximise the grip strength, um, overall muscle building maximize those gains in the forearms if that's what you guys are interested in it's definitely going to be a book for you a definitely um, a detailed in-depth book so if that's something you're curious about and you'd like us to bring forward um, give this video some likes some comments I'd be more than happy to get back in touch with you and let you know more about the plans um, so just Enjoy this exercise, you know, get a good feel for it. Remember to lean forward, get that pressure through to the forearm, take the shoulder off to the side, squeeze with the pinky finger and the ring finger and just, yeah, have a good time doing it. Cool.